Hi there guys, quick video here on CM Punk. One of the most prominent WWE rumours right now is that Philip Brooks, also known as CM Punk, is secretly trying to be rehired by WWE. Ever since CM Punk walked out of the company the night after the 2014 Royal Rumble, there have been so many WWE rumours regarding his return. At first it seemed inevitable, Punk remained quiet in the public eye and there was the optimistic hope that this was all an intricate work. He never came back, he finally returned to the public light and was not shy in this regarding his former occupation. He appeared on Colt Cabana's Art of Wrestling podcast. Everything he said about the industry was disparaging and there seemed to be no coming back. Then he became a UFC fighter, had a very delayed debut and was easily handled by Mickey Gall in his professional debut. Mike Jackson, who really was not even UFC caliber himself, dismantled Punk across three rounds in his second bout. Punk handled legal problems, winning a defamation case against WWE Dr. Chris Amann. After his infamous comments on the podcast, it didn't stop there as Cabana sued Punk for legal fees after Punk reportedly did not follow through on an agreement to pay said fees. All of this stemming from a wrestling bit business that Punk seemed completely separated from, yet still wrestling fans cannot stop clamouring at the idea of Punk one day returning. <coughs> Sean's View Entertainment. Uh, sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> what leaves us to today? Oh, that leaves us to today where the WWE rumours around Punk's return have yet again resurfaced. It started after Punk apparently made a masked appearance at an indie show in Milwaukee and delivered a GTS as hinted by Silas Young. The reports which indicate that the WWE might be trying to secretly sign Punk are not that far-fetched considering what the company is doing. First of all, the company's third Saudi Arabia show is coming up. Let's not forget, they were even able to lure Shawn Michaels out of retirement with a big enough payday. Yeah, that's true, but it doesn't really mean, it doesn't mean punk, punk will be in Saudi Arabia, though. Adding Punk star power is definitely something that will help the ratings and can pay Punk a pretty penny. There are also the reports that the WWE signed Goldberg to the event to keep him from joining AEW, which might be the logic behind pursuing Punk. The best part of this, Punk is trolling every wrestling fan to think that where there is smoke, there might be fire. Punk has strung off a series of tweets that might be hinting at something, which certain fa fans taking the bait. Uh, whether it is a waving hand emoji, which is similar to his wave both during his infamous pipe bomb and his Money in the Bank WWE Championship match. Or him promising that he has some fun stuff coming up that he cannot yet talk about. Punk knows what he is doing. Heck, he even took the time to respond to fans who made comments about him returning to WWE with emojis that expressed his disinterest. Wrestling fans always trying to make a story out of something might think this could be him trying to pull a work over the fans. This is an excellent troll job by Punk. It would not be all that surprising if the WWE actually did reach out to him, especially considering Vince McMahon re-followed him on Twitter. I, I didn't know that. I don't, I don't think that really means anything though. But Heck, it, it would not even be all that surprising if he made some sort of appearance for AEW in a wrestling reduced role, and this is his way of getting his names in the headlines. Whatever it is, it is not going to lead to a WWE return, so as interesting as the WWE rumours are, I still do not think we will ever see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. Never say never though, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I do agree with that.
especially, well, especially when it comes to the WWE. So, like, on the uh, Hulk Commander podcast, Punk was saying how much, like, he pretty much hates wrestling. And I don't think his stance has changed much over the last, uh, was it nearly five years now since he did that podcast with Hulk Commander. I don't think he'll return to wrestling at all. Um, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe, and don't forget to share. And I'll see you next time.